All right. So let's move to the PDD controversy. Mm. So PD, the whole, I feel like if I want to start talking, give a preamble to the whole PDD story, I will talk at length, right? So I, uh, a video uh, got to the internet recently and we saw, you know, hard evidence of him actually being abusive physically with his then girlfriend, Cassie. And there have been rumors for a very long time that PDD is an, you know, abusive man to his spouses and girlfriends but this is the first time we actually have a video to match it up of course when they were dating we saw cassie would come out sometimes with cars and people would like she herself would like brush it down a lot of people were saying that oh why did cassie stay 14 years in a relationship with him Hmm. if she was being abused or she was she complicit is she taking it you understand a lot of conversations came out of pdd and cassie situation so what do we think about this controversy Let's start with Mel. Let's start with Mel. Yeah, the side of the side is very, 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 very important. So, um, domestic violence uh, is, I think, it's a topic that we need to continue to shed light on because yeah. I feel like a number of women and men, but more so women, um, kind of fight in in the dark. And then even when you garner courage at whatever state, how many years after you're now insulted that how dare you tell us late you should have told us when it happened how about if i didn't have the strength to tell you how about if i didn't have the courage and i feel like people take for granted someone being abused not every woman wants people to know she's being abused and so because of that she indirectly protects her abuser who then goes on to abuse other people because now nobody knows that you have been abused which maybe you would have helped someone avoid it and i feel like i'm domestic violence and i'm not gonna you know stand like the you know commander in chief of all things mdv but it's it's on different levels it's it's mental people say oh why did you stay you were there for for 10 years or three years you were enjoying um, the Rolls royce you, you were enjoying the you know um, the money or, or the i heard he or, gives or them the, like, i guess the 250k like, a month or the flash but do you know what it means for someone to like me- to like mentally control you like it, it's it goes beyond what you see in the surface yeah. i mean like you said, rumors. People have people have have heard, but but DV is a is a deep thing, and I and I feel like it. Like I said, it isn't black and white. It's gray. You can love. You know when you and it comes down to patience. A woman can say, "I'll forgive him. He'll change." Like he said, people are great at saying sorry. Mm-hmm. So he might uh, abuse her, and then on the other hand, buy her a car, a house, invest in her business, maybe look after her her parents, her family. So DV, it it um. It's a different levels, and it's a it's a global it's a global topic, and I feel like the more we shed light on the topic, the less shame it is. Because mm-hmm. people that are abused feel shamed. Mm-hmm. They feel like, oh, people are gonna look down on me mm-hmm. for for but being abused, do, and, it, and it is insane. Because mm-hmm. people don't then, and then, and then I find it, I find it abhorrent and so confusing that you'll see, and there'll be facts that an abuser abused so and so. Sometimes um, the woman even dies, right? Mm-hmm. And in the comments, people saying like, "What did she do?" Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Huh. That is <laughs> no, like, do you know? Even, even uh, I think it was a shade room when they posted the uh, the DD and Cassie video. Um, people in the comments were like, "What did Cassie do? What did Cassie do in this? We don't know how uh, Cassie must have like triggered him." Blah blah. There is nothing there is no you can do to warrant yeah. domestic violence, like. At all. And then some women, I've, I've actually heard this. I've actually heard women like verbalize this and say, and say it's better the devil you know. Some women will literally prefer to be with their man that abuses them, but they know than to go out and meet someone. Because for some women, it's you know, it's it's quite um, daunting to meet a new relationship, especially if that person is not just your man, but maybe he's looking after you financially, maybe education. They, I've literally heard like a woman say, "I rather just stay with him because I know him. Mm-hmm. Let and me just some, let me just stay there." You know, there's something about human beings you don't you don't default to something new. You mm-hmm. default to something that's familiar. Yes, I'm to familiar. You. Yeah. Oh, this is familiar to me, so it's easy to just. And like she said, with domestic violence, it's not just physical Mm -hmm. there's so much more that goes on this person literally has control over you you mentally so it's not something that's just easy to come like she said you get abused you come out you speak up what did you do Mm -hmm. 
oh, you why must have oh, done why something. So why did you take why so you long? You must be lying. Year. Why didn't you say it when it was happening? Why are you coming out after so many years to say it? So there's just so many things as to why people don't come up and speak about them being abused. So right. and, that, and that further perpetrates mm. the abuser because if no one knows, then he could just be abusing just, 10, yeah, 20, abuse, 100, The strength of the abuser million. is yeah. sick yes. You yeah. So one thing I want to say, like whenever we talk about like domestic violence, yeah, we oftentimes take it, you know, from the perspective of the woman is the victim, the woman is the victim. Meanwhile, yes, statistics have proven that women are always on the receiving end many a times, right? The numbers are alarming. But there is still men, there are still men that are being beaten by their wives. Yeah. And actually this came out, uh, the Lagos Commissioner for Women Affairs says about 70 w- men were beaten by their wives within one year. We might say 70 is a really small number. Yeah, of course, maybe there are like 500,000 women that are being beaten. These 70 men matter, right? And I feel like it is even the shaming on male victims of domestic violence is insane because both men and women shame the men. Because women have one thing that I love and I would always say women have community. And that's something a lot of men that we lack, right? A man is beaten by his wife and they will laugh at the man for being weak. Mm-hmm. And they're saying, why you go let your wife beat you? You know if he beat them back, which is still facilitating violence. violence. Mm-hmm. You understand? So we need, we need to speak more. We need to speak more about domestic violence in men mm-hmm. so that we take, because the more you speak about it, the more you remove stigma from it a little bit so men don't feel there are many men that are very they're not weak they're just very introverted would rather not be you know there's some men that say i'm not a i'm not a fighter i'm a lover mm. there's some men that would rather talk things out and unfortunately gets married to a temperamental woman who would rather smash things on his head mm. and there's some men that are so so like so guarded and so rooted in principle that no matter what is happening they would not harm her back yeah. and these we these men we need to speak for them as well because there are a lot i've seen it happen in my, with my eyes a very crazy he married a crazy woman and this woman would constantly physically harm him and when Everything he casted in the you. when he casted in the estate a lot of people were like they were not taking it they were not even taking it seriously this man was bleeding and they were like what do you mean your wife beats you are you are your hands broken so they were coming from an angle of he should be able to fight back, mm. not she should not, not assault him. In the first place. Yes. You but, understand? But I feel like mental illness, domestic violence in Africa needs to be like a shed light. Yeah. To, like, I saw there, there was a figure that there's, there's only 1,729 therapists in the whole, serving the whole of Nigeria. 1,000? 1, 1,729 therapists and I'm serving sure like one five is the Nigeria. whole of Nigeria. So there's a massive deficit of, mm-hmm. of need but mm-hmm. but i feel like in africa we don't really talk about mental illness there's a there's an ngo seriously. called arogi and they actually said it's called Ar- arogi foundation they actually said that a significant number of their calls were were men because mm-hmm. of course men don't really have a community have someone to talk to mm-hmm. you're you're looked down upon um but i feel like the whole holistic subject of dv and mental health mm-hmm. because the what's most prevalent is women. Mm-hmm. If we shed more light on the topic in general, yeah. it would then leak into the, yeah. into the minor cases. Mm-hmm. But because even the main cases aren't, aren't even looked looked upon. So mm-hmm. of course, those that are minor are just, are just thrown to the away. side. So DV is, is, a, is a very, and I feel like we need to really take care and, and, and think before we speak. When you look at, don't, someone is clearly a victim. I'm not talking about someone who just wakes up and just decides, because the man cheated on me, now he's an abuser. I, I don't like women who weaponize feminine and it's like, okay, mm-hmm. cool. Because he 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 cheated on me and then he's an abuser. No, like that's that's wrong as well. But if you genuinely, this person is proven to be a victim, don't victimize them again mm. by saying, why didn't you say it early? Mm. What did you gain? So I think we, we really have to be sensitive. All right, so to do you want to say topic. something before we round up? Uh, okay, I just want to say that, um, you know how people say like when um, a woman gets beaten, she carry rally men and to go and beat the husband. Mm. And same thing, if a woman beats her husband, they should rally women to go and beat the woman too. <laughs> That's all I have to say. That's interesting, but they'll probably beat the women up.